Battalion Marching Orders here at MyNorthBayNow.com. I'm Richard Coffin, and today's guest is Mike Griffin, President of the North Bay Battalion. Welcome, Mike. Welcome to be here. Happy. And I guess how excited is it uh, for you to see the players back on the ice and getting ready for the upcoming season? Well, it actually was a very short summer, but by normal standards, we basically finished playing on June 1 or thereabouts. And for us, uh, typically you're, you're finished hockey in April, May in a great year. So it was shorter, but uh, seeing the kids come back. And of course, what happens at this age level is these kids come back and they, they look a year older, they look a year stronger. And, and for our team, considering <clears throat> the last year, we had the third best record in the league with probably one of the three youngest teams in the league. It makes us uh, very optimistic about where this year is headed. That's what I was going to ask next is, you know, after winning the Central Division last season and, and competing in the Eastern Conference Final, what are the expectations this year? Well, I think our hockey guys will never never put a number on the table, but if we won the Central Division last year, we lost the Eastern Conference Final, we know that there's another at least one more step to take. And the goal for this, this group that uh, Adam Dennis and Ryan Olahan and the guys, the goal is to win a Memorial Cup. And I think there's a lot of optimism that uh, the maturity from that one year, for 12 of those kids, it was their first year playing in the OHL. And anybody that's been around this game knows that experience means a lot. So uh, there's a great leadership core. Uh, the goal tend to be solid. Virtually returning the entire team defense. And they added Justin Ertl from Cornell, who's the third round pick from Dallas. So I I'd like to believe that uh, our fans can look forward to a bettering last season. I guess uh, you mentioned a lot of different components there. I guess those are the keys to continuing the successes from last year, right? All the winning streaks, et cetera. Well, I think it, the key is is that you create the depth, and, and that comes from good scouting and, and good recruitment. And, and Adam, uh, Dennis, leads the charge in that regard. And he's and I think, the proof's in the pudding that the, the recruitment, the drafting and the recruitment have been outstanding. And then basically you hand the reins to Ryan Holohan, Bill Holder, Scott Ray coaching group and their job is to develop the players and I think we saw a team anybody that followed us closely last year saw this team went really just went like this every week it seemed and and that reflects on, on the coaching and they did a great job you know I guess after losing uh, or losing the season to the pandemic and then restrictions to start last year and schedule modification against mostly Eastern Conference teams um, and how difficult have the past two years been well, I mean, credit to our owners, Scott Abbott. Uh, nothing changed with us during the pandemic in terms of employees and, and the, the hockey staff. Everybody was, was kept in place. And, you know, I think we're all grateful for that. But it also helped keep the continuity in place. And when we did step in the last season with, as you say, the restrictions, and it was like being in a rubber room. We were bouncing around, and all of a sudden we hit uh, – we had 1.8 players in the Best Western uh, in the uh, quarantine because of COVID. And, uh, we were running meals for them during the day and every evening. It was crazy. And then we had, what, 35% of our games were either zero fans or a maximum of 1,000. So it was challenging. We had people upset because they couldn't come to the games. And, and you can't win in that situation. I'm crossing fingers and toes that, that the, the worst of it's behind us and we can look forward to a full season and, and let people in here to enjoy it. Absolutely. And, and I guess looking at the schedule, you know, you've got Western Conference teams returning. I know we had the Sioux last year, but you got all the Western Conference teams coming back into the gardens this year. And, um, you know, on, uh, I guess when this, when the Saginaw is here, is there any plans for maybe a Centennial tonight again this year? No, I think we're, you know, I, I think the Centennials from that standpoint is, you know, they've been gone for 20 years and it's, it's time to move on. Uh, this is our 10th season in North Bay, even though we did not play uh, the one season when we were off. But uh, I think our focus is on, on the time brand and, and the young people of today, they've grown up with the battalion. So sure. let's, let's, let's keep it going. And, uh, and we had a terrific year for our you know, retail sales last year. We were extremely good considering the, the limited audiences. So uh, we, we have a couple of tricks up our sleeve, but uh, it, it should be a fun year for the battalion. For sure. And I, I wanted to bring that up. You know, it's hard to believe that this November, it's, it's 10 years since the announcement was made that the troops were heading north from Brampton and, and North Bay was getting OHL hockey again. And, what are some of the highlights for you, I guess, uh, over the, the course of that 10 years, maybe the start of that process and getting the team here and then highlights over those uh, several seasons? Yeah, that process really probably started in the 09, 10 season uh, when I actually started having conversations with Peter Chirico. At that point, we were heading into the, the, the last few years of the, the lease agreement in Brampton and 
uh, it was a challenge there on a good day. I think you can see it in the Mississauga numbers. Uh, it, it's a very, very challenging time for any team in the GTHL to make a go of it, considering you have the Leafs that are king of the castle and you have the Blue Jays. and you, There's just too many other things, uh, high profile, to compete with. So those conversations started. Then, then we got very serious about them. Once we sort of eliminated other market opportunities, which were there, and really focused on North Bay, then those conversations got serious and... Uh, and a credit to, to Peter Chirko and, and the, the people at City Hall that uh, made this happen. And Scott Abbott was all in in terms of commitment. And I remember uh, the first, I mean, once we got the deal done and the league announced, uh, you know, approval, that, that came in, in a split second. Then to, to get here, uh, it was crazy around the ring. Trying to get ready that first night was, uh, I was supposed to, Scott was trying to encourage me to go out and be part of the group on the ice and, I looked at him and I said, I'm wearing blue jeans and a, and a shirt because I've been in the building all day and we were lugging stuff around at 4.30 and the game was being played at 7. So it was crazy. And the building, I think the noise in the building when we, we won, we beat Oshawa on four straight in the conference final. And that was definitely. <laughs> As a highlight, that was probably the one game. And I think last season, just uh, the relief of getting, you know, getting the season started was a highlight just to get playing. We had the Richard Coffins of the world weren't allowed in the building. Um, we had, you know, players weren't allowed to shake hands or do autographs. So as trying as it was, it was just great to get them here. You talked earlier about, you know, the success of last season and, you know, the, the dozen players that it was their first year and gaining that experience and momentum. And then, you know, you got seven troops on the preseason roster that are, are drafted in the NHL. How, how exciting is that? Well, I think that really should be exciting for the fans. I mean, uh, we were not surprised. Uh, I thought maybe a couple of other guys actually could have uh, been, had their names called out in, in Montreal. But we were the you know number one team in the OHL for total number of draft picks, and I think our, our fans can look at it. I think our prospects can look and say there's seven players out there that all of them will be going to NHL camps in the next few weeks. And again, that's another experience for them. And when they come back, they'll all know one thing: you know, a lot of eyeballs are on them. And the young guys, the, the Romanis and Outwaters and the others, will be this year knowing there'll be a lot of scouts watching them, and because uh, we'll be a team that'll be very visible. We expect to be very good. And that means a lot more eyeballs watching us. Absolutely. And I guess uh, getting eyeballs in the stands, but tell us about season tickets and, and how people can sign up. We, we had a very uh, very good offseason, as sure as it was. Our, our renewal rate was extremely high, and then we picked up uh, new people. We've had, well, let's face it, we all know that uh, North Bay has gone through uh, some sort of a, a southern Ontario invasion in terms of our real estate. Uh, and we see it here. We've had people from down south coming in to buy season tickets. We've reached out to those who did not come back after the pandemic, and uh, we've had some success there in getting people to, to come back and join join the troops. And uh, so our numbers will be up. They won't be up by a monstrous amount, but it's going in the right direction. And I think that, again, people will get a sense that we're back to normal, uh, so get out and watch it. Because we, we saw last year people were hesitant to come back, and I, I get that. I mean, you still go to restaurants, and you see that there's, there's still a challenge to get restaurants full. Um, but hopefully for all of us that over the next few months, there's a comfort zone and let's get back to normal. I understand there's some new features with the app. Can you tell us about that? Well, our website, what we did with our, our provider, uh, ticketing provider, is that we've not created the opportunity for, if Richard Coff is a season ticket holder, you'll be able to manage your own account from a payment standpoint. But as importantly, if you're going out of town for the weekend, you won't be here Sunday for a game. You'll be able to transfer directly from your account to a friend, a relative, a neighbor, and say, here, there's, there's the tickets, go enjoy the game. So that takes a load off of the will call demand, uh, which creates a, a havoc for everybody. It also encourages people to say, well, if I'm not going to the game, I don't have to go to the rink, or I don't have to go to my friend's place and give them the tickets. You're being able to control that. So for us, uh, last season during the, the playoffs, 30% of our ticket sales for single game were online. So knowing what's happening, I was, my wife and I went to a wedding in southern, southern Pennsylvania in the first July, first weekend. 
We went to the Jays game on the Thursday night and then went to Pittsburgh and saw the Pirates. And everything is digital. I mean, to the point that you, if you pulled out a, an American dollar, they don't want it. It's all, it's all about the, the, the credit cards and it's about the digital ticket. And it's frankly, once you get used to it, it's, it's a pretty simple process. So we will be encouraging our season ticket holders and, and other fans, save yourself a lot of aggravation. Just go online. And, and again, manage your season tickets online. And if you're coming to a single game, purchase online and, and enjoy it. Sounds good. And I guess finally, what's your message to the fans heading into the season, Mike? Well, come on back. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, we looked at our first couple of years here. This place, I even heard uh, Ty Nelson told me that a friend of his was on the Kingston Frontenacs in our first game. And we had 3,100 people here in the playoffs. And the guy said to me, he said, this building is intimidating. And he goes, why? He goes, just the fans are loud. So imagine we get back to the old days where we had 3,500 a game. Uh, good luck to anybody coming in here. Right on. Thanks for joining us today, Mike. This has been the Battalion Marching Orders on MyNorthBayNow.com. And Mike Griffin, President of the North Bay Battalion.